Spoilers and fandom is like a book club for geeky stuff. Join us as we delve into the depths of our backlogs and sift through the games, comics, shows, movies, and books that we haven't checked out yet. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Spoilers and Fandom <laughs> Podcast. See, I got it right this time. Yes. Um, and uh, if you joined us last time, you know that we were going to play a game called Fury. And uh, I, I know I, I did. Did you? I did, but I never finished it. You never finished it? No. Um, okay, before getting into how far you reached... Mm-hmm. Um, now th- this game is a is a boss rush game. It's yeah. just boss battle after boss battle after boss battle, and this is not a spoiler. I guess they're, they're like nine bosses. Yeah. Um, nine main bosses. I'll say that. And uh, so, so how far in did you get? Like about six in. Six. Yeah. The six. One. Okay. Cool. Um, so. Like, did you, did you enjoy this? Yes. I really, okay, I really like this game. Because, okay, first of all, the art style. Then secondly, I like the premise, the way the game just throws you into it. You yeah. just figure it out as you go. Yep. And then this dude is just like some badass, and you have no idea how he becomes this guy. Yeah. But then, as you beat the bosses, <laughs> and there's this guy who gives exposition as you go through. Yeah. Yeah, he kind of tells your story as you go. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So basically, the the main premise is you you're playing this guy, who we'll call the stranger. The stranger. Yeah. And uh, he's being tortured in a prison, and he's got like this cool anime ish kind of cyberpunk anime blue hair. Yeah. And like he's just being tortured, mm-hmm. and uh, like for for some reason, like you then like he then starts seeing this guy wearing a rabbit head, who. Mm who is urging him to get out of here and make his way out. And the whole premise of this game is this guy, this, this guy who the character sees is basically giving the story about the world that this guy has been imprisoned in. Yeah. He's the guy who's giving uh, the exposition. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he's the guy who's basically telling the story about like each boss that you face along the way, as well as, uh, um, a bit of background about, the stranger and, and how people reacted to him when he arrived. Yeah. Okay? So that's that's basically the premise. So it's just you like there's an auto walk feature. So just the guy keeps yapping, telling you a story as you move along to fight the first boss. And so, rinse boss and repeat after the that. second yeah. boss, third boss, blah blah blah. But I never use the auto walk feature. I, I used it all the time. Uh, I prefer to walk that myself. It gives the I, impression I got of I got lost. Oh really? A few times, yeah. So, so I just use the auto walk feature. Like, uh, there's one place I really wanted to see. There's like a house. Yeah. I wanted to go in, and yes, there are. There was another camera angle, but just the controls are so janky. So every time the camera kind of switches uh, an angle, like yeah. the controls, you need to stop moving and then start again yeah. to kind of re reorient. Uh, uh, your your controls and your character. Yeah. Because, like, for example, if you press, like, moving forward and the camera swaps angles a few times, uh, like, as as long as you're holding forward, he'll keep moving forward, even if the camera, two, is, the facing camera is facing, like, backwards, yeah. for example. Um, unless you stop moving and then try and it's move the again. And then you and then yeah. Yeah. So that was, that was a bit janky. But um, the main meat of the game is the fights. What do you yes. think? I like the fights. The gameplay, yeah. I like. I really like the fights, mm-hmm. even though they were like, okay, the formulaic. Let me say that. Oh. <laughs> Every boss has like four or five phases. Ah, uh, yeah. So you have to figure out. Okay, like every fight phase that they have, you just have to like match whatever it is that they're doing. Yeah. So if they're, if they're zipping around, you try and dodge projectiles. If they're static, you try and get in for a hit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what this game does is interesting. So there's like three difficulties. There's uh, easy. Mm-hmm. There's fury. Which isn't. Which is normal. Which is and not normal. And there's fury error, which is hard. Dude, now, fury isn't easy. Isn't normal. Yeah, fury is normal. 
it's not normal no that's that <laughs> the recommended one was fury yeah i know <laughs> but it's it's quite tough and that's the that's normal on easy when you're playing the game on easy mm-hmm. some of the bosses don't do certain attacks and they have if some of them don't have even less phases oh for real yeah so they actually cut out like whole phases or their phase cuts out a whole attack pattern so that's how they've done it uh this game plus on easy you also have quite a lot of lives mm-hmm. like i think it's like three lives is the the normal thing yeah um i think it's like six lives if if you're on easy oh, so it's a lot easier to get through the game but you're missing some crazy crazy phases yes uh which are, which are really actually insane uh kind of fun as well arguably worth it yeah so The way the combat works is it's a mix of like a fighting game like perce- like almost like this game is harder than Dark Souls with the close combat. Yes. So there's like a close combat phase and a bullet hell phase. Okay? Mm. Basically. Yeah. Um where where uh, so in the close combat phase basically when you've knocked uh the boss's health to a certain point you go close to them and you kind of enter a circle kind of arena ring around yeah. them and and you need to now precisely attack them dodge their attacks par- parry and all those kinds of things in the bullet hell phase it's zoomed they, out to like a larger yeah, part of the arena it, it's it's almost like a twin stick shooter yeah. kind of situation uh and you need to dash through some of their projectiles you need to oh, you parry them, them. Yeah. yeah it's it's quite uh, quite quite tricky yeah. um but really really addictive As you were saying the art style is fantastic and the music is dope it's, it's so cool it's very cyberpunk very cyberpunk but funnily enough yeah. it's what you said like when you told me you wanted to play this game yeah you told me it's a lot like afro samurai yes so i read up on that yeah. it, uh the art director mm-hmm. is the guy who made the afro samurai that manga and he he, that he did all the boss design for yeah. the, for the thing That's why it's so similar like this this guy who who's the rabbit giving all the exposition he's, he's like, not like an he's like the hallucination from Afro Samurai. Yeah. Uh so that was that was really dope. Yeah. But the story is different. The story is completely different. But you know like they could have made this an Afro Samurai game. I think like, maybe all, that's what they aim for. to do was just was make it about this guy is trying to get to the number one bandana and yeah. so this guy is trying to kill just all the guys from number to get 9 yeah going down to one yeah basically the story with with that the the line that gets repeated in this game throughout by mm. the rabbit guy mm. uh by the way the rabbit guy is called the voice yeah everyone's name in this game is called the something, the something. Yeah. yeah so the rabbit was called the voice and and he basically repeats this line quite often Uh, the jailer is the key kill him and you'll be free that is that is the line yeah. and and that is what the stranger has set out to do um so i actually did finish it <laughs> on easy uh-huh. um and it it was very worth it the story is very cool um yeah. i would urge you to finish if, if you're if you're struggling with this game on normal yeah. switch the difficult like when you die you get the option to yeah, you get the option to, to go to. easy yeah Just you could just do it just to see what the story is and then go back and play normal. Yeah. Um, like for me when I started. Yeah. You remember I told you I started the game the, actually the same day. Yeah. And I died on the first boss. Yeah. On on, on normal on fury difficulty. Yeah, yeah. I died a bunch of times. Like yeah. I got like almost even two continues. Yeah. So that for the for, okay, for me that's what made me stop. Yeah. That's what made me stop and play. Yeah. So I decided let me go let me keep let me keep trying it on on fury difficulty. So I kept on trying it on fury. Kept on dying, kept on dying, kept on dying. Until I realized yo I have to kind of get serious with this. So I did beat the first boss eventually in fury. Yeah. Got to the second boss. She was insane. Yeah. She literally is insane. Yeah. The second box is insane. She was insane. The strap. Yeah. yeah. Then I was okay, the, the third guy. Okay, I don't know whether this counts as a, as a, as a whatever. I would not um tell anyone stuff after the third boss. Like save that for the Yeah, 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 that's for the spoiler yeah. section. Okay. Yeah. But I kept on going until I got to the 
there's a bus which you reach and she gives you a choice. That's where I stopped. Yeah, she is. She for me was the toughest boss. For now, now for me it was the the one right before her. Uh, the fifth one. Yeah. Uh, the guy with the shield. Yeah. Uh, okay. For me, for me I, I was, suffered. It though. was the one you're on. Mm. It was literally the, gave me the worst help. Like that one was a nightmare. Because I was thinking, like, she I honestly convinced. Yes. Yeah. So I was, re- I, was re- I was really considering, should I should I just try and finish it on Fury? Oh or... my god, you should definitely finish it. <laughs> no, on Fury or should I just bump it down to easy? Because I was having trouble, dude. Yeah. Uh, I, I think, look, the story is worth it. That's, that's all I'll say. Mm-hmm. Um, and the game is just designed that you want to try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which is why you don't want to go down. There. Yeah, I don't want to go down because of the things, but the story is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and the way they've done it is pretty awesome. We'll, I'll talk about it in the spoiler section. But yeah, that's it. it is good. Um, that that chick killed me the most. The okay. one that you're on the song. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I think up to the I I think like the the difficulty. With the second one, just mm-hmm. ramped up suddenly. Yeah, it spikes really, really. And then yeah. uh, the third one was... Like, I'm right. talking about now easy mode, right? Mm-hmm. On easy mode, the first boss is very easy. Mm-hmm. Second boss is a, like a very high spike in difficulty. Mm-hmm. The third one is super easy. Mm-hmm. Super easy. And that's one where it's a complete... Like a phase is just removed. Oh, for real? Yeah. Okay, um, I'll have to come back and check. The fourth boss... Mm-hmm. Uh, the phases are the same, but like one of the attacks is removed, um, which is like the grid thing that he does. That that that's not there, mm-hmm. uh, and one other attack he doesn't do uh, with the fourth boss. Mm-hmm. With the fifth boss, um, honestly, it's more or less the same. I didn't find many differences with the fifth boss. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's just because you have more lives. Yeah, really, that makes it easier. Yeah. But uh, I, I didn't find him too tricky. It's just his, just before his last phase, he becomes an idiot. Yes. Um, the sixth boss, the song. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. I died a million times because of the bullet hole. Phase. Yeah. Now I haven't played that yet. So I just, like, she just gives you an option. Yeah. And I decided to exercise that option. Yeah. So I just haven't played the game since then. I also got like really busy. Yeah. Yeah. So you remember like yeah. What did you think of the boss designs? Fantastic. Yeah. Dude, all these bosses are memorable. Yeah. That's the thing. Like yep. Okay, it, it feels a lot like you're playing an anime. Yes. They act very yeah. very anime. Like the first people. boss <laughs> the first boss checks in with so much bile for you and you're like, Why dude? Yeah. Why? I'm I'm literally just out of my cell. That's yeah. it. <clears throat> so yeah, the first boss was fantastic. I like the first. The second, the second was crazy. The second was unique. Yeah, man. super unique. I've never seen um that like. She looks like a like a lamp. Yeah. <laughs> imagine yeah actually and imagine, imagine the Pixar person, guy. Like, imagine if the Pixar lamp was yeah, a was boss. Evil, was was evil and change. a boss. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. The third one really impressed me. The third one? Yeah. Uh, he really impressed me. I don't know why. Like I really I really dug his character design. Uh, yeah. I found him man. For me, I'm all, well, we'll talk about him in the spoiler section. Mm-hmm. Well, I can just say mm-hmm. the eighth boss was my favorite. Okay, fine. So I'm yet to even get that. Um and I'll describe him in the spoiler section. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which uh do you want to go into that? Yeah, sure. Okay, well, like, is well, there anything I, else? Okay, I'd say, okay, one thing I'll tell you guys, if you're going to play it, yeah. control pad. Control, yeah. yeah. You, oh, it's recommended. When yeah. you start the game, it's recommended that you play with the control pad. I also say that one of the problems that I have with the game, mm-hmm. literally one problem, mm-hmm. um, after you beat the boss, like, I wish there was a way, like, it had an option for you to just fight... Like after you've beaten the skip boss, to the, skip to the next boss. Skip and fight that boss over and over as an option. But um, you see now they give you that gap in between us for exposition. That's the yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. like another mode, you know, like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fight like you know 
select uh, boss, like yeah. boss select yeah and just just go into that area and just fight that boss on like gauntlet mode yeah um just just to fight that boss at any difficulty like in case you don't want to go through the story the story or maybe new as a new game plus or yeah like i would love to fight the eighth boss over and over again oh yeah i'll put it that way okay go cool. and i just don't want to go through the entire game to fight the boss over, and over again <laughs> um but damn, damn, damn. This game was really, really cool. This is actually a really good choice, man. Yeah. Yeah. I was... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm really... How, how, how would you rate this game? Easily the lowest I'd give it is an 8. I really enjoyed eight myself. Ten. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed yeah. myself playing this I would, game. I would definitely give it like an 8 or 9. Yeah. I yeah. really, really liked it. Yeah. This um, game is mad fun. Yeah. Um. Very, like, I'd say it's amongst the best games I played this year, actually. Is it a game? It came out this year? No, it came out uh, last year. Oh, yeah. It okay. came out in 2017. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's the best game I played this, this year. This year, yeah. Uh, very underrated. If you're Many an guys, anime fan, if you you're an anime, play this game. Yeah. And if you like just... Arcade games, just, just like simple stuff. Arcade like slash like challenging games, yeah. and you like like imagine like uh, not Super Meat Boy. Um, imagine if Devil May Cry was okay, not Devil May, yeah, kind of. Like, but imagine if Dark Souls was cooler. <laughs> like Dark Souls is cool, but like like Dark the Souls combat was faster. Yeah, and like more samurai-ish, and more like um, more like actually more like like a fighting game. Yeah. Uh, like Tekken or, or Street Fighter or something, yeah. like, like a hack and slash, because it's it's really tough, man. Yeah, Dark Souls, is, is Dark Souls guys wouldn't be Dark Souls fans wouldn't be happy with you saying that. What? Uh, that it's no, I, if it was better Dark than Dark Souls, Souls. Is, is cool. I, I do think this game is better. Okay, cool. For me, with Dark Souls as well, mm-hmm. uh, my favorite part of Dark Souls is fighting the bosses. Mm-hmm. Um, I I honestly don't enjoy. The the figuring out how to get to the next boss, mm-hmm. and that that's what's actually stopped me from finishing the games. Mm-hmm. I really want to get to the boss and kill them. So so, so this me, was actually the yeah, dream come is, true for you. This is like yeah, I've never like like played a, a boss rush game because mm-hmm. that's what the genre is. It's, it's a boss rush game mm-hmm. from like start to finish. It's kind yeah. of like Cuphead. Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. In recent history, yes. it's like Cuphead, uh, Titan Souls. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And this. Yeah. Huh. Those are the three that I can think of, off recent memory. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're not so many boss rush games. And this is this is definitely good. Um, how much would you would you pay for that? Yeah. I'd say Knowing what I know now, yes, definitely. Like like if you see it for less than ten dollars, I think it's definitely worth getting. Um, even at twenty, it, let me say that. Even for 20? 20? I don't think it's even 20 at full price. Oh, for real? <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, I'd say I'd be willing to pay up to 20 bucks for this game. Because I saw the trailer and it instantly went into my wish list. Yeah. It's just that when we got it on the... The bundle. The bundle. Yeah. That's the only reason why it came off the wish list. Yeah. But other than that, that and Echo were on my wish list. And I got Echo last week. Ah. Yeah. Um... I would say, like, if it's ten, it's it's really it's worth good. it. Yeah. If it's like five, it's like, what are you it's doing? A steal. You need to get it like yeah. now. Um, I'd say that this game is, if if you are the type of person who likes exploration, this is not for you. Yeah. I would say that. Like, it's not a chill game. Plus, it's it also is. super short. Like, you can do it. Well, on hard, you can't. Well, yeah. Because okay. it takes, like, those phases... And yeah, those phases... Time, they take yeah. long, they have more health. Yeah. And you've got to time your parries perfectly or start again. But yeah. ideally, you could finish this game in a day. Um, yeah. 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 So it's a, um, it's a relatively short game. Yes. But there's a lot of meat in that game. Yeah. In that game. Because you do want to play <coughs> on harder difficulties. Like... Yeah, as a challenge. Uh, I think the footage going on right now is me playing it on normal. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, and so you'll see me struggle, <laughs> and, but no, I have finished it. <laughs> uh, God, it, it is definitely a good game, um, but let's talk about spoilers. Spoilers now, yeah. yeah. Okay, your favorite moment in this game. L- okay, my favorite moment yeah. was 
the start. I really liked the first boss. His introduction was fantastic. Yeah. The whole thing for seeing him with three faces and then he pops up with his staff and he's just talking shit to you throughout all this. Yeah, he is the nastiest shit. Oh, for real? Yeah, he was. In, up in, until in, up until where I got to, he is like... No, he mo- is literally... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this is... Well, if you weren't waiting for spoilers, you should have stopped listening. But yeah, he is literally the shittiest guy. Yeah. Um, I find him... Like, just vilest. Like, he hates you so yeah. much. But there's only um, one guy who hates you more, and it's, I the think, the fourth guy, the, the frogman guy. But the fourth was not as vile. Yeah, he like, just this hates This guy's like, I'm gonna yeah. beat you, yeah. and I kill you over and over again. Like, all those, lines, I'm like, wow. No, <laughs> the th- hatred is pure. That's the reason why. I think uh, when I died so many times at that first boss, I was like, no, you know what? I'm gonna beat you at normal. Yeah. I have to. Yeah. Just for all that shit talking, I had to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um... The strap. The strap was in, was insane. Yeah. Like I didn't. That that was such a shift from this guy to her. Yeah. Was insane. When she chucks that scythe, and then like, chucks her legs as well. And yeah. Starts going on all on all fours, and, and she's just fuck. leaping all over the place. My God. What fucked me up was the face laser, dude. Yeah. Because I really <laughs> wasn't expecting that. As in, I saw it, and then I'm like, Yo, she can't be shooting me with her fucking face. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, there's him. Then there's who, there's the old guy. After that is the yeah, old guy. What's after his that's name? The old guy. The, old the guy line was called the line. Yeah. Yeah, he's the one who really impressed me. I really liked the character boring. design for him. I don't know, man. He just controls time, but not exactly. Now again, if you're playing it on easy, you miss that whole. You miss a whole phase. It's yeah. like two phases. Yeah. Really, if you're playing on easy and mm-hmm. not two phases. Yeah, it's not two phases. I think it's four. Yeah. If you're playing on, on normal. So you can, like, on easy, I, I just killed him in one go. I think you die. So that was weird. Yeah, and then after that is the the scale. The scale. The guy in the diving This suit. guy was fun to fight. Yeah. I had a lot of fun fighting him. Um, and so now, one of the attacks that... Now, you, you, you've heard the stuff that he says, like he hates you, you're like his creator, and blah, 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 right? Excuse me. Yeah. And also, like his area yeah. is this whole, like, um, like it's all about these shiny plants and yeah. all this cool stuff, and it's all water-based. Yeah. Um, killing him, mm-hmm. for me, was satisfying. The way, mm-hmm. after you beat him, the, the slice, yeah. the head, and then as his, his body's falling into the water, the head kind of comes apart. Yeah. Oh, that was so dope. <laughs> that was so satisfying. <laughs> now, one of the things he does mm-hmm. uh, in in one of the final phases, uh, when he's doing his bullet hell nonsense, right? Yeah. Um, he gets like a few more clones of him. The copies. And, yeah. and they explode. Yeah. But what he also sends is these poison gas things that create a grid. Did, yeah. So the grid is missing. Mm. Not easy. Yeah. It's just those uh, things you have to dodge and not worry about the grid. Oh. Um, and then after him, the is, hand is now the, knight. the hand. Yeah. Now the reason why I liked him is yeah. also because he's the one who imprisoned you. Yeah. So the story is, he brought he this guy is the one who brought you here. Yeah. And him and all these people stopped you. And he has his kid. His yeah. kid is somewhere there. So he's and he's def- he's trying to stop you to save his child. Oh, you get to know the story at the end. I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, but, oh, another thing I really like mm-hmm. is when you stop playing the game, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, like, on the way to all these guys, you're getting the, the backstory. The backstory, yeah. All these individuals. Yeah. So, so and he, he kind of, like, eggs you on and encourages you to, to play, you know? How can you let them get away with this? With this and yeah. blah, blah, blah. But, like, when you load back into the game, mm-hmm. before you can actually access the menu, mm-hmm. it repeats a line that defines that guy who you're going to fight. Yeah. And, and uh, I'll get to... Like, so, so I think, like, for the, the second boss, mm-hmm. uh, when you quit and come back, it's like, we all know that being in prison fucks you up, don't we? Yeah. That's but, the line that gets repeated. But you and me, boss. we both know that yeah. being locked up fucks you up inside. Yeah. All these guys have quotes. Yeah. I have the quotes. They, they all have, yeah. yeah. So, um, man, I, I don't remember what the hand was, but it's, it's to do with... Let me tell you. That, this guy um, brought you back. You can't let... Like, how can you let him... I, I look at you, stranger, and I see nothing. Yeah. Desolation, death, you are alone. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's, that's what he says. That's yeah. what the, the actual the hand says. Yeah, that's what the hand I'm says. I'm talking about the voice. Oh, uh, the yeah. The voice yeah. says before you, like, at the main menu. 
right before you start? I don't know. I don't know that one. Um, it's it's like you know he brought you here, you know how can you learn blah 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 blah. Um, but anyways, after after the hand, you have this chick who seems peaceful. Yeah, she's like in a churchy area, very angelic and blah blah blah. As far as I know, she is peaceful because she, she gives you an option. She she sounds like she really reminds me of. Did you watch Shira? Yeah. Um, do you remember Glamour's mother? No. Glamour was the like Shira's friend who yeah had like Oko like pink yeah and could shoot like lasers out of her hand yeah yeah, yeah. and her mom was like a like an angel kind of person they mm-hmm. have almost this, they have a very similar thing with their voice I mean, I know it's not the same because mm-hmm. eighties and, and yeah eighties and now yeah but but they really have a lot of similarities with really cool. that is such a land of reference but okay no, now, no, now I'm have to go and go and check it <laughs> out this is this is what it reminded me of uh-huh. um anyways. Her, she like she basically is like just chill. Yeah, she offers. She gives you the option of, of you can chill. stay there. Yeah. You you don't leave. Yeah. You're not gonna be a prisoner anymore though. Yeah. But you can't leave her. And the zone. voice, the voice is like, make her shut the fuck up. Like, yes. Don't let her. She's just tr- she's just trying to mess with you. Yeah, and it's at this point that I started doubting the voice. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know whether the voice is actually on my side or is egging me on to be evil. Oh, you. Um, I wanna. Okay. No, no, no. Go oh, ahead. We'll get to that. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. After you beat the the voice. Yeah. Okay. The song. And killing her was bloody fantastic as well. Uh huh. Finally ending her her crap mm-hmm. was great. Um, the next one you fight is it's called, called the burst. burst. Mm-hmm. The burst is a little sh- chicken shit. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, her design is amazing though. Uh mm-hmm. Um. She she looks very unique. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll have to Google her picture. I can't describe it. And she controls all these robots. Mm-hmm. And the way she is portrayed is like she is like full of herself, mm-hmm. and she's like a gamer. Okay, mm-hmm. like I think her quote is like, on a scale of one to ten, she'd give herself an eleven, and she's probably a twelve. <laughs> like, <laughs> is is how the voice describes her. Yeah. And uh, what she is is uh, a sniper. Um, kind of thing. So mm-hmm. she sends all these robot thing, drone things, to kind of kill you. Uh, you deal with them, but every time you pop around this this cover, she takes a quick shot at you. So you need to and it takes off a chunk of your life. And she turns invisible. So you need to find out where the sniper shots are coming from. Go to that area, and you will hit her. I couldn't see her. I found it hard to see when she's invisible. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, Deb saw me playing her, and she's like, "Yeah, she's right there." I'm like, "Where?" Where? Yeah, that's good camo, man. <laughs> that's good camo. Um, and she was, she was pretty like killing her after mm. you beat her. Yeah, uh, that was pretty fantastic. Now, what happens next mm-hmm. on on your way? Now, this is the seventh. When you're going towards the eighth, you get get into this place. Mm-hmm. And when you arrive there, the voice was already there. Uh huh. Okay. Uh-huh. And he just appears like in a flash, like from the bottom. Of this room, yeah, and he's like, he took care of the eighth boss. Eighth boss. You're joking. Yeah, and it's like it's like my turn to contribute to our escape, and blah 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 blah. That's that's what he did. Okay. This guy so is you setting you. You don't you don't know who who that boss was. Mm-hmm. Just know that this guy took care of it, and you basically walk around that level. It's sort of like a a spiraling staircase. Mm-hmm. In the middle, it looks like. Like uh, like floating shapes all over the place. Uh-huh. So this guy just shows up like he's killed. I think he wanted to take revenge on on on, on that this specific one, one. character. Yeah. It's like he was out for this one guy. I think uh, for separating him from now. Now you even know about the voice. Mm-hmm. Okay, so his backstory is he has a daughter, mm. and I think they separated him from. Her for, for I, I don't know, what whatever reason. Mm. Okay? Now, the theories for the voice mm-hmm. are he is a hallucination mm-hmm. or he is the last boss. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, he's neither. He's neither. <laughs> he, he was just, he was literally just another guy. Helping you out. Uh, who hate, who, he, like, I think he was involved in making the entire prison. Uh-huh. Um, but then why would they, why would he need to get out with you? I then? don't know. 
I think, I think... Uh, I and why would you want you to... He seems like a heretic, who is basically put in. Okay. Is, is the vibe I got. Anyways, so the seventh boss is... is uh, eighth boss. Eighth so boss is sort of not... The burst. Now, the eighth mm-hmm. boss. Mm-hmm. The eighth boss has the coolest line. Mm-hmm. What if you had an eternity? What would you do? Would you get bored? Would you freak out? Mm-hmm. Would you go mad? He trained. <laughs> like that is the what? that is the dude's introduction. It is it is like the coolest introduction, the most badass introduction. Uh-huh. When you meet this guy, what if Akuma <laughs> Akuma was a samurai from Samurai Champloo? Shit. Um but had the the mannerisms not the mannerisms of Akuma uh-huh. right but the mannerisms of someone who's just relaxed uh-huh. and chill and seems like you would have fun hanging out with so he's a so, chill so guy. almost like Urahara or uh, this guy from Bleach the flowers guy Kiriko uh-huh. from uh, like Bleach you know yeah. like those chilled out samurai dudes yeah yeah but this guy has been with all the aggression his entire life uh-huh. just to fight you Shit. This has been his life's purpose. Now, the way this this guy checks in, there is no bullet hole phase with this guy. So it's all just melee. It is all close combat. At one point, it even goes 2D close combat. So they oh even do like goodness. a Street Fighter kind of thing. It is such a good bloody fight. Oh, it is. Once you get his patterns, uh-huh. it's it gets easier. Uh-huh. Even on uh, normal yeah. and hard, it's just all the things that you have learned to do till now. You just you use them all to together. Oh. For example, like you know your three hit combo. Yeah. This when you this guy when you parry him, uh-huh. you can only hit him once. So it's basically like so chip parry damage. hit him once, back off, wait for him to do his attack string, uh-huh. parry, and and when you get that parry, hit him once, or if you get the perfect parry, great. Wow. Yeah. And then that's that's just this, that's that's the main way to hit him. Uh-huh. But then when he goes 2D, he chucks like um like ranged attacks and that kind of stuff uh-huh. as well. Like <laughs> like floor level sonic boom shits at you and that kind of It's a really good fight. And that is the best fight. Well, so this is the boss that you say you wish you could fight over I and over. I wish I could fight him over. He's so cool. He is so cool. Um, by far the coolest boss fight and he doesn't egg you on like he's like come on try harder mm-hmm. you know this can't be all that you're about you know fight me harder kind of thing he's really cool mm-hmm. like like imagine if Kenpachi from Bleach was chilled out <laughs> oh my god it's 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 such a good fight um, and then the ninth boss is a complete joke what? the ninth boss is called the beat uh huh um, and it is someone who is really useless at melee combat, mm-hmm. and just basically, you have to catch up to this person, and dodge like all these turrets that the person put down. So it's it's basically bullet hell until you get to where they are. Mm-hmm. Then beat melee, them up very attack, easily, attack, attack, attack. Yeah. just really easily, mm-hmm. and then uh, yeah, just just will on them. It's very very easy. Okay. Uh, it's and it, also it's a kid. Ah. It's a child, who sounds very likable. <laughs> so all these it's guys. A very likable kid. Like everyone up to now has been a boss of challenge, and then the last boss mm-hmm. is like you're fighting a child who's doing it to protect their village. But then even when you look at all the bosses, yeah. the one who's openly okay, the only two who are openly antagonistic to you, the first boss. And the frogman guy. Yeah. So the first yeah. boss is just the he's just an he's the dick. Yeah. Guy. He's just super aggro uh, jailer guy. Yeah. Um, the second one is like the Hulk. Yeah. The so one, she doesn't have any beef. With the you. third one seems all right. Yeah. Right. Like he seems like he'd have tea with you. The song was was probably the mo- least aggressive towards you. Yeah. Um. The hand also looks like you could reason with him. Yeah. The eighth guy just wants to fight because this is his life's purpose. Um, 
And the seventh was just a sport little shit at the end yeah. of the day. Um, so now the ninth. But now the ninth is a child who is trying to protect the village who is really underpowered. Mm-hmm. Really underpowered. Like, amongst everyone you fought, mm-hmm. it's the easiest fight okay. that you'll have. Like, easier... Like, it's hard to say whether the first boss or the last boss are the Which one was easier. Oh, really? Yeah. But it's, it's there for a reason. Okay. Like this last fight, like this last boss is completely different from all the other bosses mm-hmm. because all of them were a challenge and this is literally a kid who's like, I don't know, eight? <laughs> who's like a pushover. Now, the real spoiler. Uh-huh. What happens when you kill the, 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 the next kid. boss? You leave the jail. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. As soon as you're outside, everything around you mm-hmm. In this world, you're sort of like looking at this landscape, mm-hmm. and everything around you is deteriorating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you're like kind of like leaving a trail of death, like you have like a death aura around you, oh. and everything around you is dying, that is. Mm-hmm. and it's kind of spreading outwards and, and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And then there's a secret. Mm-hmm. That, well, not a secret thing. Like the credits are rolling at this point. Yeah. Okay. And you're, you're able to walk around. But then there's this lighthouse in, in a distance. Mm-hmm. You go to that lighthouse mm-hmm. and enter it. There'll be a thing and you can like kind of interact with it. Mm-hmm. And then there's like a, like a jetpack kind of mech suit thing. Mm-hmm. And that thing goes welcome rider. What? Yeah. And you get into that thing and you blast off into space. Okay? Mm-hmm. Looking at the planet that you were just on. Uh-huh. You end up going to the satellite where there's a mothership. Uh-huh. Okay? And uh, the AI is like this holographic kind of head construct thing. Uh-huh. Asks you if you completed your mission. And you get two options to say, A, you have, um, the planet is ready, has been assimilated by you. <laughs> and is ready for conquest or something along those lines, mm-hmm. or B, attack the mothership. Wait, you attack the mothership? Yeah. So you, you have a choice. You have a choice, A or B. If you attack the mothership, you get into a bonus boss fight fighting the star. Who you fight them. Yeah, you fight the mothership. And this one I could not finish. It is very difficult. Um, I had to look at it online. What? Yeah, it's a tough... It's just bullet hole. Now you're in a suit. Uh-huh. Okay? The so rider suit that you're on top of. No, so it's very clunky. You don't have sword attacks. Uh-huh. And all your... You basically have your usual projectiles. Yeah. You have a the huge gun. charge beam shot. Because uh-huh. you're in a thing now. Yeah. It's completely different. And it's all bullet hell. Uh-huh. There is a like slight dash. Uh-huh. But it isn't like your cool... The usual like shoot Because you're in a machine thing. Basically... The story is, Mm -hmm. you are an alien who was sent to this planet because your planet was dying. Like, she gives you this exposition as you fight her. What? Yes. Like, you have been corrupted. You were sent there to corrupt the place. So So that's why things are dying when you're walking around. So that we could go in and resettle our home. But it's you who are the one who got corrupted. Because you're now attacking the mothership. But then why are you killing things when you walk in there? Why do you have that death order? Um, so, now what I think the story was, mm-hmm. you are from this other planet, you've been sent there to kind of uh, maintain it. And as soon as you got there, mm-hmm. everything around you started dying. Mm-hmm. All these guys are kind of like protectors of the planet. Mm-hmm. They all what came there to shut you down. Because also, that's why you're you destroying. The, that's why they imprisoned you. What? That's why that guy talks to you with s- such hell. That's why you can't be killed. You are that powerful. Like throughout the game, the guy's telling you how powerful you are. No one. They call you the stranger. They don't know anything about you. You appeared. What? Like all the lines that the voice has been telling you from the start make sense. Dude, my mind is blown right now. It is so good. It is so good. Good lord, it is good. It is really good. 
Um, I watched on on YouTube like uh-huh. if you beat the boss, you uh-huh. get this little cutscene, uh-huh. and you'll actually see um, like basically you destroy the satellite thing and it crashes into a planet, and you'll see the the voice with his daughter, chilling there watching uh, the thing crash in the distance. That's assuming you didn't crash with it. I think you you did, but I don't think it would kill you. The whole thing is the whole thing is you're super OP. Yeah. Which is why they locked you up. But then now aren't you killing the kill planet you. by being there? Mm. Like the voice the voice has basically laid all the groundwork for your mind to be blown at the end. Because it just makes sense. All this stuff about like you even creating the scale. Mm. Like he's a mutation of all the shit that you brought and creator maybe aliens uh, abducted him and tested him for stuff. Like probed him or experimented on whatever. What? You, you see, like, it all just adds up. This guy has been training his whole life to, to fight, fight a god, essentially. threat. Yeah. Damn. It is nuts, man. It is super nuts. <laughs> okay, now I have to finish this you game. You have to finish I have it, to man. finish this game. Uh, I don't know what happens if you pick um, the... Uh, I, I destroy the planet. Chances are it just ends there. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't seen that part yet. I'll, I'll Google it after this. But yeah, okay. what a trip, man. That was, that, was, that was the best reward. After finishing the game, yeah. that is the best reward, is having an ending like that that just blows your mind. It's great. Um, I think there is DLC where you can fight two additional bosses as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't bother. They, one had a stupid name. One's called Bernard. Mm-hmm. Not the Bernard. Just, just Bernard. Bernard. Yeah. And one is called the Flame. Um, but they're just two, so... Nah. Damn, okay. Yeah. Damn. So it's a good game. Really good game. Yeah. So that eight, that eight is well-deserved. Um, yeah. I, honestly, it, it is... I can't decide whether it's better than Monster Hunter World. For me, oh yeah, which is <laughs> the, these two are the best games I've played this year, by far. Uh, in terms of just the most fun and how cool they are, this game was done in Unity as well. Yeah, huh? And it looks very really, impressive. really cool. Really, very, really very cool. Impressive. Yeah, like if you like platinum games, hey. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um. Anyways, but that's. That's that's that, it. That's that's the major thing about this game. Okay, cool. Yeah. So yeah, make sure you check it out. Uh, should we close? Do you want to add anything? Nah, no, man. You you know I had to finish the game, so you've kind of like ended it on yeah, a high this, note. This is the spot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's good. Like the eighth boss. Like go look at videos of the guy, or just look at his picture. <laughs> <laughs> the samurai guy? Yeah, the okay. eighth boss. Uh, he's called The Edge. The Edge, okay. Yeah. Yeah. His name is even the coolest name. <laughs> <laughs> the Edge of the Beat, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so next time we'll be doing a comic. And we're going to be hopefully recording at Between the Lines, one of the branches. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll see if Zane can get in. On one of these books as well. Yeah. Um, which book are we doing again? Um, John Carpenter's Tales of Science Fiction. John Carpenter's Tales of Science Fiction. Yeah, there are two mini series that are out. There's one called Vault, which is three issues, uh-huh. and one called Vortex, which is eight issues. Let's do. We Vortex. could do. I wanted to do Vortex, but since Vault is three issues, we might as well do both. But we'll I'll, I'll, we'll get both and we'll decide. By the time we do the podcast, we'll de- they will have decided. Uh. Let, no, let's okay, do, let's say we'll do Vortex. Let's do Vortex. Yeah. And if you feel inclined, we can talk about Vault as well. Vault as well, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah? Cool. So join us for that. Um, it'll be two weeks from now. Two weeks from when you hear this one. Uh, two weeks from when you are hearing this. <laughs> yes. <one. Yeah. laughs> um, yeah, have fun. Cool, man. Have fun, guys. Do you have an opinion on what we just discussed? Did we miss something? Tell us in the comments section and we'll read it in the next episode. If you're listening on Anchor, 
send us a voice message, and we'll add it to this episode. Don't forget to follow our podcast on Twitter, at SpoilFans, for updates. And follow our Instagram for behind-the-scenes action, at Spoilers and Fandom. Also, subscribe to us on YouTube and Anchor to get the latest episodes.